What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul and Aquarius. We're going to look at some energies for you starting July 11th and ending July 17th, 2022. The messages will be for Aquarius suns, moons, Aquarius rising signs, singles, couples, Aquarians who are into same sex loving energies. My fellow water bearers, I hope all is well and I hope you guys have had a wonderful and safe uh, 4th of July celebration. Um, this week, I'm uh, using the Black Tarot to deliver your messages. And before I even begin that, um, all the cards are in the upright position. But before I begin, I want to thank all who has uh, contributing um, to my channel through Super Thanks. Uh, I didn't realize, uh, I didn't make mention of it last week because uh, I, I couldn't really understand what was going on. I was getting all these uh, donations. And I'm like, well, where are these donations coming from? It's like, duh, you turned on super thanks, but I completely forgot about it. So I do want to take this time and opportunity to thank you all for whoever, uh, you know, I'm not calling people out, you know, because I don't like to put people on blast. Um, but I do appreciate that. I want you to know that and supporting me and my channel and all that I do. With that being said, let's get underway here to see what the energies um, are going to be for you, uh, Aquarius. Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So let's see what's going on. What's coming up? What is the potential energy for my water bearers and myself? All right, Aquarius, we're going to start off with the first card in this energy, and we open up with the energy of the, um, oh, we got the high priestess here. Okay, so the high priestess, secrets, why do you guys always hold on to secrets? Okay, so high priestess is about intuition, so always pay attention to your intuition, Aquarius. You know, if you get gut feelings, you're hearing voices, and I always say, talk about the hearing voices thing. I joke about it and I always say, you know, the good voices, not the bad voices, um, because that's usually your spiritual energy and your own uh, divineness trying to grab your attention to make sure that you are making the best choices for yourself and decisions uh, and moving forward to keep you on your path. Uh, opposites attract. So this is a relationship card. So it could be new relationships that are formed. So one could be, um, you know, different from you. Always talk about age, race, culture live in a different city, state, town, or country. There's something different about them. It could be religious factors. But the uh, high priestess is also too about secrets, shielding of some sort of secrets. This could be secret crushes. This could be interest in people that only you know about, but they have yet to find out about. Okay, so if we get the moon, that's the revelations of those secrets being held by you. All right, so the uh, High Priestess, Major Arcana, opens our energy up here, and it's representative of Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Our shadow is the uh, Hangman. Wow, another Major Arcana. And the Hangman just simply means for me is, you know, things waiting or hanging in the balance. Um, you know, not necessarily you sitting on the fence, but something else could be sitting on the fence. Um, but... I interpret this as that, you know, whatever is going on for you this week, Aquarius, the hangman is just here to remind you that you have all the time in the world. There's no rush. OK, if I was reading this in the reverse, then it would be that you have already given yourself enough time. Now you're ready to move forward with whatever it is that you are having intentions on doing. So the hangman here is just simply saying, you know what, Aquarius, there's no rush to do anything. Just take your time. Make sure that you are. Um, doing what is best for you. Okay, that is your shadow energy, Major Arcana, the Hangman. Following the uh, High Priestess here for you, Aquarius, we have the ooh, we have the Ten of Cups, the Wedding Card, Reception, Parties could be um, definitely it represents love and emotion. So you know, new connections, romantic, platonic, just spending quality time with family, being invited out to um, picnics, barbecues, or whatever. Just celebration, the energy of the even number of cups, the energy that you put out there to others, Aquarius, you get that same energy back. Feeling love, loving, caring and supportive. Other people are caring and loving towards you and supportive of you. Wow. Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces represents that um, 10 of cups, the wedding card, reception card. You have it. Oh, okay. 
Then we have the lovers. The lovers, the major arcana follows the Ten of Cups. So this is definitely unions of all kinds. It could be business. It could be platonic. It could be romantic. Being on the same page, seeing eye to eye with one another, enjoying quality time with one another. There is harmony. There is love. There is peace. When the Gemini, well, I'm sorry, it represents Gemini. That's part of your energy. When the lover shows up, that represents Gemini. It is all those things that I mentioned. Wow. We have three major arcana showing up here for us. Oh my gosh. So this is the potential of energy that may express itself. Well, by the, you know, the time that I put the video up, it may be already occurring for some of you. Who's to say? So this here lover's card, major arcana, represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's follow and continue. The Knight of Pentacles is next. New job offers. It's a court card. It follows the um, the union card. So again, it could be business connections, promotions, new job offers. Could be contracts. Someone here could be seeing you as being very supportive. It could be financially. They see you as being um, secure, stable. That might be a relationship that you're currently in. I'm giving you an overall feel, but this is from the other person's perspective that they feel a sense of security, stability within the relationship they currently have with you. Now, that could be romantic, definitely romantic, but that also could be a friendship. OK, and it also could be stretched out into the family. Knight of Pentacles here represents Earth, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo following the Knight of Pentacles. Aquarius, now we have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords has been showing its face up here quite a bit. This is a card of movement, physical movement. So moving away from some sort of stressful situation, it does mirror the lover. So maybe some of you are having some sort of difficulties, not necessarily difficulties, um, and you know, within your relationship. But if you were, then, you know, that energy is about to uh, move away from you. Now things are calming down, clearing up, and there's smooth sailing. If it is traveling, it could be work-related, business-related, follows the Knight of Pentacles. Um, say passage to, say passage from. With the Six of Swords here, I get a physical move. So someone could be physically moving um, or someone could be relocating to a different area. This is representative of you, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Following the Six of Swords now, we have the Your Own Energy Shows Up, the Star Card, Hopes, Wishes, and Dreams Becoming Fulfilled and Manifested Underneath the High Priestess, those things that I just talked about. In terms of relationships, meeting different people, someone different than you, it could be, you know, because this is my social networking card, uh, expansion of social media, the outreach and connecting with other people. It could be work related, business related. It could be online dating, um, building up alliances with, um, you know, friendships, all those things. If you are not the type of um, Aquarius you know, who is into dream journal, maybe this week is a good week for you to start. Uh, just pay attention to your dreams. Keep a book by your nightstand, your bedside or whatever. And no matter how crazy the dream is, just write it down. Um, because oftentimes our dreams carry messages for us. This is a card of psychic abilities. This is also a card of having the potential of meeting a famous person. Making sure that you're staying focused here on one or two things, uh, Aquarius, because the stars in the universe are scattered. OK, so you don't want your energy scattered all over the place here, there and everywhere. One or two things is only necessary. OK, and remember, because the six of swords shows up here, that's part of uh, decisions and movement. Right. So we have the hangman, whatever you got going on in terms of. Uh, you know, contemplation, actions or decisions, you have all the time to, um, you know, fester. So don't work, you know, rush into anything um, unnecessarily or needlessly. So the star card here is being shown here in terms of presentation because it represents you, Gemini and Libra. Following the star card here, now we have the Queen of Swords. Wow, all of this uh, energy showing up here for you. Queen of Swords is Major moves, major decisions underneath the Ten of Cups, decision to marry, the decision to a par partnership, enter into a new romantic relationship. It could be business. It could be friendship as well. But you're taking action against whatever it is. It follows the star card. Maybe somebody new you meet. 
the queens and the kings, no matter what element shows up here, represent all relationships, ages, and genders. So just note that this follows the star card. The queen of swords follows the... Um, so that could be new um, relationships being formed, like I mentioned before, romantic, platonic, business. But there's some sort of major action or decision that you're going to make. And again, the reminder here is that you have all the time in the world uh, to make those decisions. I just feel that it's a, a lot of, um, collectively, I just feel that it's a lot to do with relationships, either existing relationships or those relationships that are about to form for you, Aquarius. And that is a generous, wonderful thing. All right. So the Queen of Swords here represents you, um, Gemini and Libra. Now we have the Judgment card, another major arcana showing up here. Things that are hidden in the dark, underneath the lovers. It could be about someone else that you know, um, that you didn't know before. Um, some things that you discover about yourself that you didn't know uh, before could be positive and negative. Um, whatever is hidden comes to the light. Um, Archangel Gabriel resides over the judgment card. So you're spiritually watched over. You're spiritually guided. You're spiritually protected. The judgment comes in to make sure that, uh, as a reminder, not to be uh, harsh or critical towards yourself in, in terms of your own judgment. And then you don't want to pass on that uh, harshness, criticizing and judging on to other people because this is my card of karma. The energy that you put out there is what you want to get back. So be very, very careful here. But it's still a, new, you know, a nice card to receive. All right. So the judgment card, Major Arcana. Let's see what's following that. Now we have the Knight of Swords. Oh, my God. So you got the Knight of Swords mirroring the Queen of Swords. Okay. Wow. Relationships. I mean, I could be, you know, talking about relationships all day here for you, Aquarius. But again, it's an action card. It's a card of gaining clarity. It's a card of speaking your truth, just like the queen is, but you're taking action against something or someone underneath the Knight of Pentacles. For some, it could be your work. It could be a business. It could be almost anything. Definitely partnerships, either existing partnerships or those partnerships they have the potential of forming. So again, this here represents you, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And the final card in this beautiful message for you, Aquarius, we end up with the Page of Pentacles, the job offer, okay? And this page is facing in the future direction, so there may be some um, change of jobs for some of you. Um, also, underneath the Six of Swords, traveling for work. Or it could be an offer of work overseas or indefinitely in a different area from where you currently live. Business ideals or the start of a business. Wow, Page of Pentacles representing Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So this completes your energy for this week. It's all potential energy, uh, Aquarius. I hope it opens up because it's wonderful. It is really, really wonderful. Um, so be safe in all that you do. Uh, be well and uh, keep smiling for me. And again, thank you for the contributions and the support of my channel. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Keep smiling. Bye.